Alright, hello guys. My name is Rockstoom. Uh, today we're going to be running Terraria. Um, and the category that I run is all pre-hard mode bosses. Uh, right now I am second place on the leaderboards with a 24... 24 I believe is the time. The world record is 23.32 I believe by TVG Badger. Um, this run should take about an hour. Um... If we get lucky, it'll be much shorter, so we'll see what kind of luck we get. So, we have to make a character. Um, we'll just do a random one. There we go. And we'll make it a nice name like Donate to Valuethon. Obviously, we'll need a new world here. We're going to make a small, normal Crimson. We'll go with Crimson for this one. And uh, our world name will be Save the Children, which is a charity. And we're going to do no seed. This is going to be a random seed, so I have no clue what, what we're going into. We're just going to hope for the best, hope for some rubies, hope for some voodoo dolls, and uh, give it our all. So right now, i got to generate the world real quick, and we'll get started then in a second. Um, for time start, it's basically as soon as I gain control of my character as a load. So it'll it'll give a similar bar kind of to what just happened, and then you'll see the screen go. That's when time start is, so. And uh, I just want to give a heads up. There will be a time probably where I'm going to close the game and reopen it. So you just got to make sure that the game gets back up on the screen, so. Okay. All right, no password, and we'll get started. And... Start. So first thing I do normally is I just collect a little bit of wood here. Um, this is to help make platforms and our workbench and stuff like that. I also like to grab 10 stone. Again, that goes with my when I close the game is when I hard dupe and it doubles that so I can make a furnace. So I'm going to grab 10 right now. Just like this. And we're going to be on our way. Basically, I'm just going to choose a side here, probably. One side's going to be ice and snow, basically. And the other side will be the desert and then the jungle, typically. So, and then the ice side has the dungeon, which is where we will go to kill one of the bosses. This should be good. Ooh, I need those. Hold on. All right. Nice, this is really good. So this is gonna be, this should be like a little, oh, it's gonna be the desert though. Okay, so it's gonna be cut off a little bit, so it's not gonna be a full tunnel. That's okay. Let's head to the jungle and see what kind of luck we get out there. I gotta go with my special here. I always grab cactus so I can make myself a cactus sword. Definitely a really solid weapon, and I got a keen one. That's really nice. Not a negative, not a negative enchant. A fix feels good. Ferrari is a very chill game. I agree. It's very nice for casual play, and not many people speedrun it. So, um. I think a lot of people don't don't realize that you can speed run a game like this. There's a, there's actually a couple different categories that you can run. So this is just the one I got into because it's kind of like the base one, and it's also probably the most common. And I like I like having competition, so it's really nice to have a bunch of people that have submitted runs, and then you can compare against theirs. That's awesome. I really need to do more with hard mode myself, actually. Most of my play, uh, aside from speedrunning this, has always been multiplayer, so a lot of my like hard mode or anything like that, or expert runs have just been multiplayer, so I'm not that comfortable with it. But I would like to get into other categories like that that include that content, so hopefully I'll get there one of these days.
Let's see here. Oh, I don't have... Oh, okay. I have torches. Cool. Like, I didn't have torches. So this should be probably the start of our jungle. And we'll see what kind of luck we get down here. Trying to make sure we don't fall down. Should be good. Should be good. Okay. Um. I'm trying to take this nice and slow. Doesn't look like we're getting a whole lot of stuff here yet. Head right over here. Grab some of this iron ore for now. Nice, that went really well. Okay. I was a little sketched out about those slimes for a second. There's a lot of slimes. All right, what do we have? Gotta be careful for the, the hornets. Nice, I missed, okay. See what we have down here, make our way down. Nice, a house, okay. Get in here so we're safe for a little bit. Nice, looks like I got a regen band there, I believe. So that'll help if I'm a little low on health, maybe. Might use this danger sense for now as well. Okay, sort some out of this out. Okay. Nice, a heart crystal, that's really good. <gasps> no, oh, okay. Very unfortunate. Alright, well I know there's a hard crystal in the jungle, which is really good. And I think I saw some gold there, so that's positive. We should be able to find explosives, and then we'll just be looking for our ruby, so I'm just gonna go for that again. Same thing. Hopefully we won't die again. Definitely would not want to. Oh, I had a feather fall. I should've used that. I might use that just to get out there. We'll see. Just to save myself, probably from... It's pretty vertical jungle, so... A lot of spots to fall. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take this a little slow. I don't have to deal with this charger. If I didn't have all these throwables, we would have been in a lot of trouble right there. Probably would have been dead. Okay. What do we got here? That's a lot of slimes. Oh, look at that. One buddy's stuck in the wall. Stuck in the wall. What are you doing there? Oh, I need those probably still. So um, there is three types of duplications typically that we can use for right now until probably the next patch. I think they're going to be removing most of them, if not all of them. So right now um, we have a door duplication, an item frame duplication, and then also the hard dupe, which is when I restart my game basically and duplicate my inventory. Um, it looks like right now I don't have any iron bars, so it, we may end up having to do a door dupe for that and then probably do a hard dupe for the heart crystal and um and then item frame duping is pretty much the main duplication so we'll end up definitely using that too as well so probably be able to showcase a little bit of everything there and just want to make it just take it nice and easy down here probably gonna use this feather fall just in case now we can kind of speed this up Right, there's our, okay. There's the heart crystal, we have to grab that still. I'm gonna grab this sapphire, it's a nice. A nice uh, gem for a grapple. 
Decent one. Okay, we got our heart crystal. That's really good. We have our gold. We pretty much are almost ready to go. I'm going to look and see if I can find a, some explosives probably in the beehive. Real quick. I'm just going to box myself in here to be a little safe here. Okay. Should be pretty good. Okay. Oh. You just gotta take it nice and slow here. A lot of enemies. We're gonna have to chill. It's very possible we'll find another dupe. It's very possible. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it against. This is the last major Terraria update that's coming out, so one thing will be that. Let's see if I can get this slime to jump. There we go. Nice. One thing will be that. After this patch, I mean, if there's any duplications, it's just in the game. Like, that's how it is. As is, pretty much. That needed down there. I guess the one big question we have right now so far is where is our beehive going to be? See if I can get this one to jump as well. If any of you have played um, Terraria, Jungle Slimes, these are probably, like, the worst enemy to have to deal with, like, early on. I really hate these enemies, so if I can get this guy going, then I'll probably head out and see what we can get here. Alright. Kind of juke around those. Alright. See if I can't sneak my way down here. Nice, okay, I got an eye right there, that's really good. our hornet slowly there okay all right his feather fall really helping out right now um i think that's a hive yeah we found a hive okay so yeah we're off to a pretty good start um i don't know if we've gotten explosives yet i don't think i have found any so we're still missing that and we still need our elusive ruby they're gonna be our two major things at the moment and then our voodoo doll at the end of the run Nice. Just block this off real quick. Nice, I got another feather fall too, just in case. It's good. Um, throw that there. Ooh, a spelunker. Um, I think I'm gonna save that just in case for duping later. Did I get any? Oh, I do have a dynamite. Okay, good. All right, um, let me do just a quick, I'm gonna probably just quickly browse over the landscape here in a second, if I can. And see if I notice any rubies. So you can kind of see things on the map and uh, each block, like this is probably some copper. Yeah, it says it's copper. This is a beehive. Um, and this is probably like some honey on, in the water there. So you can kind of see ruby sometimes. I think that's just lava. This is probably just some lava. It's it's like it's gonna be a pretty bright red. So hornets are kind of trolling me here. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. Eaters being a little rough here. At this point, I'm probably pretty safe to die, and we can just set up our duping and be on our way after this. Um, it would be nice to find a ruby, but if I don't, it's not really the end of the world as of right now. Like we can just search for it later. I'll get the spelunkers ready, and then it'll be pretty free. So nice. that kill me? It probably does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so off this, I'm just gonna hard dupe, so. 
Um, when I when I die, it actually kind of saves my inventory. I don't think this is really mentioned a lot whenever I when I started running, but um, if I throw everything in there and I reload my game now, again, this is gonna, I'm gonna have to reload the game at the moment. So we just have to make sure it comes back up. When I reload the game, it didn't save my inventory, so I'll still have all the items, and then the chest will also still have all the items. So it saves the map. It doesn't save my character profile, which is really odd. Again, donate to Valuethon to save the children. All right. And so you can see my inventory is here and then it's also in here. So now we have duplicates of everything we just add. So make our way up here and we're gonna set up our station basically in the air. It's, it's night one, so I don't think I'm gonna get to the night bosses really tonight. So it'll probably just wait till day two, which is not really a big deal. So ideally, I would have killed Queen Bee probably by now, and then I would have killed the Eye and then Skeletron, but um, I would have need needed a little bit better of a setup for that. But that's okay. We can definitely we should be able to kill those by night too, which is really nice, considering we already have that all set up. Unless Queen Bee just takes really long to find, then that would be maybe night three. We'll see. So here's a door dupe. Basically what I set up is a door with a, a shelf on top, and then I put a bar and I hit it with a hammer and uh, it allows me to duplicate the iron there. Neat little trick. And then the next dupe we're gonna do is the item frame dupe, which is basically just the generic normal duping. So we'll set that up in a second once I have everything set to go. Oh, I actually don't have wood. Okay, I didn't realize I didn't have any wood. I'm gonna have to collect a little bit of wood. <laughs> Terraria loot times being long or kind of short? Because <laughs> sometimes I feel like they're pretty long. Sometimes I feel like they're pretty long. But maybe that's just because I'm a speedrunner. Very likely. Okay, so we're going to make our sawmill, which is going to allow us to make item frames, and this is where the magic happens, pretty much. So we put down some bars, and we put a chest on top. We're going to break the bars out from the bottom here. We're going to throw our anvil down or anything pretty much under it. Throw an item frame on top, break this from the right side, and throw the other item frame down. And now we have ourselves two item frames on top of each other. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I'm just going to dupe up whatever I need pretty much now. For this to work, you do need two of the item. So that's where the other duplications kind of come in. Be plenty. Oop. Eyeballs are trolling me a little bit. Okay, we definitely want to get these spelunkers duped up. These are going to be needed for our... our for a ruby, which we're going to have to find. It's going to be an epic adventure, probably, as always. Oh, I do need those. Grab some health up, that way. Don't die here while I'm doing this, hopefully. All right. Mm, we're good with those sapphires. We're good with that. We need those wormholes. Don't need these mud blocks. I'll throw one of these down. Don't really need that. This is probably one of the things that takes the most like focus in the run, typically for me. There's just so many things you're like trying to micromanage in your inventory, so. Um, I'm gonna just start making my armor for now. Do I have any good arrows? It doesn't look like I do, okay. That is very unfortunate. Queen Bee should be interesting for us. Probably just do fire arrows for now. I'm gonna leave a little bit of normal arrows just in case for later. Okay. All right, we can get rid of that. Probably get rid of that. If I get rid of that, get rid of that. 
that's gone. I will do, I'm just gonna make dynamite for, oh, I didn't finish. Did I not make a bow? I make a bow. I'm gonna do dynamite probably, instead of uh, bombs. I like to sort my inventory and put them at the bottom like this. All right, cool. Good with those, good with the hearts. Get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, we're pretty good off. So we're gonna be on our way. Oh, nice. All right, never mind. I'm gonna go back and make uh, jester arrows. That'll be real nice. Okay. That's what I like. Got these fire arrows. Don't need those. Beautiful. Okay, now we're good. So you can kind of grapple like this to give yourself some nice move movement along the way. Um, makes you kind of go to like sprint speed basically. If you have Hermes boots or something that increases your movement speed, any of the boots, um, <clears throat> it'll put you at that sprint speed. Sprint speed, so you can kind of continue along the way. But I don't have any boots, so we're just gonna grapple over and over again. Let's try and maximize and work with what we have for now. What version is this? This is uh, the current version. I think it's 1.3.5. Current version. Um, yep. Yeah, this one is just for pre-hard mode, and I'm shooting for under an hour. Um, right now, we're actually off to a really good start, I won't lie. Um, we have our eye. I mean, the, the worst part of this run will probably be just finding the Voodoo Doll, because I have Spelunkers, which basically means I can see any, I can see any like, ore or gems in the ground. So I'll be able to see, hopefully, a ruby whenever I'm digging, wherever I'm digging. If I see any in the wall, it should be a bright red, and I've actually gotten... I was actually, like, warming up a lot over the last two days, and... I should be able to tell pretty easy when I see the bright red. It's kind of hard to get it used to because a lot of times amethyst looks like it has a solid. It looks like it has a reddish color. And even some of the other gems too, I think, kind of look, kind of look like they're almost a red. And you're like, oh my gosh, rubies! And then it's like, nope, it's just trolling you, man. Just trolling you, man. It's not rubies. It was me, Dio. Nothing, just another eye. Is there like a world record or anything? Yes, world record is 2332 by uh, TBG Badger. Again, uh, for me, I just like random. I just like random a little bit more than seated. Seated uh, isn't as like fun for me. You never know what you're going to get, and that's kind of exciting. So, Also, I, I think I stated earlier that this is probably one of the more common category or the most run categories so um there's more people like that you're competing against which is kind of nice but right now i'm just going to kind of look around for the ruby and see if i see anything because I, I don't know if i'm going to spend too much time underground um so i'm going to just check and see if i notice anything around here real quick we're not really in a rush at the moment because we can't really complete the complete the run without that anyways so the sooner we get it, the easier we can hit the go button, basically. So right there, you can see to the right, that's probably emeralds or diamonds or sapphires. And it's really hard to tell just because the color is not very specific. It's kind of like, a, it looks like it's diamonds to me, but it might be sapphires. I had to guess it's probably, it's probably diamonds, but... It's a real, it's pretty much the best gem for a grapple. But I'm not super worried about my grapple at the moment. There we go, right there. That's what we're looking for. You see those bad boys? That's what we want. Beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna grab these and we're gonna head our own way out. Um, did I have, yeah, I have dynamite, so we're good. All right, we're gonna go summon B. I'm gonna go summon B and have some fun. This is much better luck than I had in a lot of my practice, I feel like, so. Super awesome. Right. 
Okay. Let's see how it is. Hive. Let's see what's the, what's below us. All right. Oh, whoops. All right, there we go. Bomb our way down in there. That's a lot of bees. Watch me fix it with flex tape. All right, so our, our, our bee was literally right below me. Okay, I didn't know that. Let's see how much room there is. Okay, so here we're gonna do uh we're gonna do what I typically do. We throw a throw an explosive down there, and then we just TP our way out, dude. And the bee's gonna spawn right on top of us instead. So now we can do it safe in our spawn. So one thing you'll notice is she basically desyncs and teleports around a lot. That's because I'm playing on a multiplayer server, which is really unfortunate because it forces a lot of hits on you, mainly with the little bees here. Also, I will say gold is not my preferred armor to do this fight with, <laughs> typically. Uh, I think you're a little squishy. I prefer platinum, but gold is what we have. So I would say we might die once. I'm going to hope we don't. But I would say we might have one death. While I'm doing this fight. Let's see how good my jukes are. I guess. On her dash phase mostly. So far not so bad. Doing alright. So after this. this The reason we do Queen Bee first. Is because she has a really nice weapon. Called uh, Bee Nades. And typically you only get about 20. But we can dupe them and get like 900. And we can kill pretty much every single boss in the game with them. So, makes everything else really simple from this point on. So this is the most intense boss fight probably. Maybe aside from like, all flesh can be pretty tight depending on how you do it. Depending on like your setup for it, you can have maybe a little rough time. Uh, in my last run before this, I actually didn't even have a platform. So I was juggling myself on the top of, of the underworld with uh, my grapple and a bottle. <laughs> Definitely uh, some intense times. I barely killed it and made it back. I just TP'd out so I wouldn't die. But I was I had about 40 health when I finished, so it was quite tight. Yo. The bee has 3,400 health. It's a, it's quite healthy. The final, the final boss should be Wall of Flesh, and Wall of Flesh has 8,000. Which I just realized today, I never really looked at the health that much. I looked at the health, I was like, wow, it has 8,000 health. <laughs> Thankfully, like I said, we, we can kill pretty much everything with the bee nades after, we, after the queen bee, so... I think that becomes a little bit less of a problem that it's so much health. 3,000 damage with a bow, a little bit tight, 8,000 damage with some nades, perfect. So I like to hang on to, I like to hang on to here mostly because uh, when she does the bee phase, the bees will knock you around if you don't have a grapple. So I just grapple to the floor typically, and, uh, and typically if you have jesters, you'll be able to shoot through all the little bees and they'll die. So we got a nice, we got a nice kill here, nice and simple. Grab our loot up. What do we get? Perfect. We got bee nades, so that's really nice. Alright, so I'm gonna dupe up some rubies. Get ourselves a better grapple than we have. That's the first boss. We have five more. And we can make some better armor too. We can make some bee armor. And we can have some bee friends. Just believe. Okay. And there's a lot of trash here that I don't need now. There's our bee friends. We got all three summoned up. I won't need that. Alright, cool. Luckily I had... So, sometimes she won't drop bee nades. Uh, the backup is to have grenades. So I luckily had those. That would have been fine. I would have been good either way. So that's awesome. Um, we have our crown. I'm going to save that ruby just in case. Just in case we have any troubles. And uh, we should be good to go. So I'm going to go... 
I'm gonna go to the Crimson. Let's see. I'm probably gonna head this way. Yeah. I'm gonna head over to the Crimson now. It's daytime. We can't kill the night bosses anyways. So that pretty much locks us out of doing Eye of Cthulhu and Skeletron right now. Um, but this run looks pretty good. We'll see what Voodoo Doll looks like. If Voodoo Doll's nice, the run should be real real good. If it's if it's really rough, then we'll be sitting around for like 15 minutes probably. Hopefully lo not longer than that, but we'll see. Just believe. All of Flesh is a very interesting boss, I'll give you that. I don't know how they came up with the idea for Wall of Flesh, but bonus points to them. Very neat concept. But we should make easy work of them. Oh, I ran through the crimson. Oops. <laughs> Wait, was there an entrance here? There was. Okay, I ran through the crimson. Oopsies. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. It's pretty late or early for me. Give me, give me some slack. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill the brain probably, and then uh, I can probably make my king slime, right? Yeah, I can make my king slime. I have slime. It's good. Um, and then. That's our that's our stuff for the day, pretty much. Um, we can dig. We can start digging down to the underworld um, for Wall of Flesh. I don't know if I want to do it from from the Crimson. It's it's not a bad spot to do it from because this one isn't that far from spawn, and I'll also be kind of like a little bit down into the map, so we only have to do a little bit of digging. About half the work, you know. And, you know, half the work is less time, and that's what I like to hear. Alright. Oh! Uh, let me uh, make it on one of these. Right here. We can just do this fight now, probably. Not really a problem. He's after me. Save me. Alright. Nice little slime fight. Not too bad. Alright. Um, I can actually kind of dip that. Equip that. Get that. Boom. Boom. This is a bunch of garbage I don't really need. And we'll start summoning the brain. I don't know that that's going to break, so I'm just going to wait here for that. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. So as some of you saw at the beginning, I only died, I think, was it once or twice? I died twice, I think, but the, the second death was fine because... I was ready to dupe anyways, and it just it just facilitated that. But one major thing is, if I died a lot, then this would have been much rougher for me. So this was nice that I didn't die too much. Typically, I mean, in a like a perfect attempt, I probably would just reset after a death in a lot of scenarios. So, but we're just dealing with what we get here and uh, and doing our best basically, and that's. Neat way to do kind of like a race or some sort of like marathon thing. Cause I'm basically just I'm not doing the best seed. I'm just kind of I'm kind of getting what's what's given, and we're just gonna do our you know we're just gonna handle it. We're gonna do the game. So I'm gonna head down. I'm gonna start digging down. Um, night time's around 36 minutes right now. The timer says 32, so I should have like four or five minutes before nighttime which basically means i can dig my way all the way down um maybe start setting up a platform and then uh, i'll have to go do the night bosses 
Um, I am going to do them in a proper order here. I don't really want to die in hard mode. I was doing that a little bit earlier. I don't want to die in hard mode. The wolves are hard. Hey, look, a ruby. That's really nice. Hey, look at that fella down there. Actually, a whole group of them, it looks like. As a Terraria speedrunner, you learn to appreciate rubies, let me tell you. You learn to appreciate them. They're like one of the wonders of the world. You love to see them. You love to see it coming out from this map. I'm sorry, skeleton. Ah, uh, if we finally hit lava. Oof. Oh! Oops. Don't blow yourself up. Pro tips. Pro tips, do not blow yourself up. The lava. Not like this. Alright, uh, let me just clear out my inventory a little bit here while I'm up here. It's nighttime. Um, I might head out to. I'm gonna head out to the dungeon, anyways. That's not really that big of a deal. I wouldn't say it's convenient, but it works out. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that emote. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now now kids play nice it's okay if anybody thinks that they can do a faster I always encourage if you'd like to try feel free you can give it yourself a try why not Oh yeah, I noticed, uh, one thing I noticed is if you hold up when you jump, you get this super jump. So, like, your normal jump is like this. Your jump when you hold it is, like, pretty much the same, but if you hold it up, oof, you get that big boy jump. Real nice. It doesn't really say, like, it's meant to slow, it's meant to slow you down. It doesn't tell you, it's, that's, that's the real thing that's not known. It doesn't tell you that it gives you a super jump. Super underrated. You know what? Alright. Let's just do both bosses. Get them both in here. It's Fight Club. Fight Club, kids. These are going to be our third and fourth bosses, I think. No, these are actually our, our fourth and fifth bosses, so we only have one left. That's it. Alright, one left. So we're going to go back to our elevator down there. We have a nice uh, feather fall, so that should make it nice and simple. We can just slow fall down the uh, elevator and it'll work out real nice. Uh, so now we're just playing Wait for a Voodoo Doll Simulator. Hopefully it won't take 20 minutes. Um, actually, I kind of messed up. I'm gonna maybe go back to the dungeon because I can get a uh, I can get a spawn candle. 
Um, is it worth it? Probably, just in case. I'll take that extra spawn rate. I'm gonna go back. In case we're waiting for a long time, it'll be real nice to have that extra spawn rate, so... Extra, like, I don't know how much... I don't know what the percentage is, but if it is, like, 20%, 20% extra minions or monsters, real nice. It's a water candle, actually. If I recall... I'm not sure the percentage, yeah. I just know it's increased. I don't think it really says. I think the wiki probably would have information, but I don't think I've looked it up. But yeah, however much it is, like, if it goes 20 minutes, that 50%, 20%, it'll add up real quick. That extra spawn rate. So it's probably worth. I wish I grabbed it the first time, but... There we go. Let's grab that bad boy. Is there another one? There's another close one. I might grab a second. Oh, nice. Why not? Alright, and it's closer to spawn, so I'm just gonna go back again. Unfortunate that I had to do it, like, I had to go back. It's normally, I forget when, like, I don't see it. Like, when it's in my sight, I normally remember immediately, but when it's out of my sight, I normally just don't even think about it then. Again, in a perfect scenario, I mean, like, the candle might help, but a lot of times you're just gonna, like, hope for it to give you the voodoo doll immediately anyways. So, if you don't get it immediately, I mean, then you're probably not, probably not gonna be having the time that you're looking for anyways. Ooh, I almost threw him away. Holy crap. Very bad. Oh, nice. Now we get movement speed. Okay. Okay, game. I see you. Giving us the move speed now, huh? When I'm going down. Not when I'm running side to side. There's our ruby friends we left behind earlier. Wee. No. Remember, lava's bad, kids. Don't do lava. Ooh, that is... That is some webs down there. Are those breaking? <laughs> yeah. Bee nades self da The bees just turn and attack you? Oh my goodness. They just don't have a target, they just turn and attack you? Oh my, that would be real bad. I throw those things out like they're, like they're candy or something. All right, well, we can start setting up. A, I'm gonna set up probably a platform for myself. Uh, that should be probably the best thing to do, just in case. Um, that way we don't have to deal with uh, dying, hopefully. So, and we should have time. So, we'll focus on that first, and then we'll get our our uh, candle down. We can probably put a couple downs like this. Along the way. While we're building. Because I picked up three. Ooh, I heard a voodoo doll. Or I heard a voodoo demon. Voodoo demon? Did somebody say voodoo demon? Nope. Not there. Next one for sure. Ooh, uh oh. Hold on. Ah, uh, nope trolling me. Alright, that's three. That's three three demons. No voodoos. Mm, I think I'm gonna 
I didn't realize it was going to be like that quite. I don't have to build up, probably. There we go. Get ourselves up here. Alright. Wow, a lot of buildings here, apparently. This is also not a great setup at the moment. Drain that lava real quick, probably. Uh, just put a candle here for now. Still, yeah, it's still draining. There we go. We're just gonna, yep. I don't remember how much um, wood I duplicated earlier. Doesn't look like I have too much of a bridge yet, so we're gonna keep going. To make sure I have enough room. I think about 200 to, yeah, about 200 is really nice. It's like, it's about what you need. Gets a little tight around there, probably. If you, if you only have 200, you'll finish right towards the end. Oh, in case you're wondering, uh, you can actually do the same exact thing as, uh, we tested this the other day. You can actually do the same exact thing with bee nades that you can do with the normal bee bow that the queen drops. Though, so alternatively, you could just get a queen bee bow and normal arrows, and you could beat all the bosses with just normal arrows. Not even specialty arrows, just plain arrows. So you can take that method if you like. <laughs> Actually is vanilla, by the way. I actually don't even have any mods downloaded, period. I've never used a single Terraria mod in my life yet. Can't wait for Calamity, though. Keep hearing a lot of good things about it. All right, well, we have a lot of uh, room here, so I think I'm just gonna put down a candle and sit here, probably. This is a pretty good amount of space. Pretty safe. So, we just wanna make sure we're getting the most enemies. Turbo controller, oh yeah. Oh, sorry, let me unhook my controller real quick. Sorry about that. My bad. Apologies there. Alright, I'm on my normal controller now. Spawn rate's not looking so hot. Where's that bonus? What is it, 33%? Where's our bonus 33%? I'm gonna try just grappling above. Oh, I heard scythe. I heard a scythe. Ah, no. Why do you let me down?
Maybe I can bring it over to the house. Not sure if I'll have maybe a little bit better luck over here. Make sure I have the buff. Yeah, see, when you look at the buff, it just says increased. So I wasn't sure the percentage earlier. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I, yeah, I, I just turned off the cheat engine. I, I realized that after the the uh, the turbo controller. Sorry, sorry. That's the last thing, though. I'm not doing anything else. Last calls. <laughs> Submit it to the leaderboards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I believe that would be world record, actually. This is not seeded. This was a random seed. Um, this is it. I'm just waiting for the voodoo doll. We're done. We just finished the last boss, and that's it. Uh, that, that would that would start hard mode, hard mode, um, which we will not be continuing. Which would give you a whole new set of bosses to complete, basically. No! Every time you hear, every time you hear the, whenever you hear that, you gotta get excited, and then you just get let down every time, every time, dude. Could be. That's why I'm kind of clinging to the ceiling. I want things to spawn near me. Yeah, that's why I was clinging to the ceiling. I don't know if it actually like affects it fully. I've only tested a couple times, but I seemed I seemed like I got more flying enemies when I when I cling to the ceiling because it won't generate things on the surface as much. And as long as I'm getting that increased spawn rate, that's good. That's my goal, but for random seed is twenty three thirty two, and my best run is twenty four twenty four. Personally, which is second place. 1147 is seeded and seeded comes down to instead of instead of RNG it's well it's still RNG a little bit but uh it's uh how much damage can you do that's what that's what uh seeded comes down to that's why I don't like that one as much I feel like it's uh if you can get there in time and then did you do more damage than the other person to kill the bosses faster so I like random because again you can kind of just get you never know what's going to happen which is really the uh the interesting part about each run each run's a little bit different too so you know you're always uh seeing new things keeps the game pretty fresh hi everybody the rudy spawn is pretty brutal big shout out to jibble who basically got me into this game and thanks for being here dude Yeah, I like random a lot more. Uh, again, there's still randomness in a seated run, which is not necessarily the most fun. The randomness comes down to like enemy spawns and voodoo doll. Voodoo doll's still completely random, so you could have a run that you're you're on pace and then you just it just doesn't get a voodoo doll. Basically, same thing. I mean, that's that's for both, but. In a rando, like, you never know, like, what your early game and, and what you're going to be, like, provided with. You could just get really awesome setup, and then you never know what your time would be, so. Really fun. And that's what, yeah, that's with increased spawn rates. I think there's a, po is there a potion that increases spawn rate as well? Well, thank you, Lily Pants. 
This run, yeah, this run we should maybe not submit this one. We may not submit this one. Battle potion, yeah, 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 that sounds right. Let me just maybe make sure I don't have one of those in my inventory. Oh, looks like unfortunate on that one. Not this run. No battle potions. I don't even know if you can get them. Can you get them? I think you can maybe get them in the underworld? I don't know. Is there a way? To, can you get them in pre mode? Anybody know how many demons we've seen? I want to say it's it's definitely double digits now. Definitely double digits right now. Thank you, kitty. Yeah, I get a demon scythe before a voodoo doll. Yep. That's my life. That actually happened like earlier today, too. I was like, look, guys, demon scythe. I can use one. Yes. Great item. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll be honest, this run went pretty well to start, so. For, like, again, for, like, a marathon or a race setting, it would have been a really nice start. A lot of our races were, uh, I was doing races the other day, and we were we were having some real interesting maps. This was definitely quite generous. Boot it all, I mean, I don't think it should take that long, we'll see. This is pretty poor. I'm really glad I got the candle, to be honest. Actually, watch. I wouldn't have got the candle. I would have gotten it instantly. That's that's my luck, probably. Just hang this up here, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the demon scythe is is actually really good, but I don't have any mana to use it. So, mana exploit anybody? Mana? Oh, just a one shot. I don't even think it does good damage because I don't have anything to like. <gasps> Oh! Somebody counting these voodoo demons? Or the, I guess just the normal... The normal ones? What is that, like 15? We're due for one soon. Anytime. Anytime, demon. I'm waiting. I'd have to say it's, it's definitely double digits. It's 100% double digits by now. Oh! Nope. Nope. Do we need to move to another area? <gasps> nope. Oh my god. <laughs> this is terrible. <gasps> really bad. Alright, we got our demon scythe. It's okay. Alright. I, I better I better get back to runs tomorrow. I'm about to about to do some runs tomorrow because we got all our bad RNG out of the way. We're ready to get first demon. First demon voodoo doll all day tomorrow. We're good. We're ready. We are ready. Okay. I don't. I don't have, like, any mods at all. I don't actually have any mods at all. Is there a mod that I can, uh, does anybody know of a mod, possibly? Might be able to get it. Yeah, I don't have, like, anything that I, I can edit it with. That's what I was saying. Is there a, there's not, is there a console? I don't think so. Maybe I could just add it to my inventory, but I don't think so. Um, I have faith, we're gonna get it. Yeah, it's been longer than five. I have faith we'll get it. Okay, sounds good.
Just get it. Yeah, we can just get it. It's it's good. None in this building. And I'm not really near any other buildings. Um, I guess I'll just check to the sides real quick. None over here. Easy, dude. There's a bat. There's a demon, too. Oh my gosh, two more demons, no. Why are you like this game? What is that? Oh, that's a... Uh, that's like the... What's this dude? The tavern dude. He's just laying. Conked out. Make him, Maybe wake him up. Give him a little shop. Sorry dude, I don't have any of your currency. Yeah, I'll check above. I mean... Yeah, there's not really any caves above me at the moment. But... I don't think... Mostly solid ground. Do friendly NPCs reduce? I don't know. Maybe I can drop this guy in the lava though. Sorry, dude. You gotta go, man. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go, buddy. Yeah, right here. No, no, no. You gotta go, my friend. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Sorry, friend. I promise no NPCs were hurt in the making of this speedrun. No NPCs were hurt in the making of this speedrun, I promise. I didn't even notice him conked out on the ground. I, th I didn't even see him there. So was that actually reducing the spawn rates? Is that uh did we look that up? I wonder. <gasps> no, how many is this? That's like 20. That has to be like 20. Okay, yeah. Well that sucks. I didn't realize he was there. I think this is the worst voodoo luck. When did we get here? When did we get down here? It was around, uh... What time was it? Yeah, if anyone has any info, definitely let me know. Maybe a quick Google search for it. I'm pretty sure it's been 20 minutes. I, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been 20 minutes. Pretty sure we were here by like 40. I'm gonna look at it up.
Oh my goodness. I'm gonna say that's 21. Um, okay. Oh, is this it? Nope. 22. Nope, 23. Okay, um, let's see here. I'm trying to see what this wants me to do. Okay, you load a player. I'm gonna start working on it. If, if sound cuts out, it's probably because I'm browsing my files. Oh yeah, I had a run earlier today that I found a voodoo doll. It took me a little while, and then I found a voodoo doll instantly after find after killing Wall of Flesh. So that was interesting as well. I killed Wall of Flesh and it instantly dropped another voodoo doll. Very unfortunate here. Okay. Final Terraria update is coming soon. Yeah, that sounds fine. Yeah, yeah, one ten sounds fine. I'm work. I'm trying to work on it right now, so we can. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to add something to my file. If I can add, because I've never used this before. I might have found it. Yeah, I think I figured it out. Okay. Yeah, I figured it out. Okay. Alright, we're good. I think. Seems like it'd be biased by people quitting before finishing. Um... I still, I mean, I was doing them all, all the other day, and it, the longest one I had was an hour and seven minutes. Uh, today I had a 58, a 47, and a 42. So this is my longest run of the day, for sure. Um, and my last one took, oh, tech, oh, my last one took an hour and three, I think. Yeah, I had an hour and three on my very last run, but I think I had pretty poor luck as well. So it was just barely over. So yeah, this is actually the longest run I've had uh, in the last two days. Very, very unlucky. I'm going low. Oh, no, I'm good. I have a whole nother stack. We're good. 
Plus, I already I already uploaded the file, so it already has. Oh, there we go. I found it. Nice. Beautiful. Pog. Poggies. Now, he, he, they heard us talking about this editor. They're like, oh, heck no. Uh, you're not editing me in. Wait, am I on the right side? Yeah, we're good. All right. Come on, Kobe. Beautiful. You talking about this editor? No. Put me in, coach. Oh, what is this snake doing? Get out of here. I told you to never come here. Oh, look at all this money we have, though. I'm going to be rich after this run. I'm ready to retire, too. We're good to go. Nice Sue, that's time. That's a ghost. Ooh, just before an hour and ten. Thank goodness. Just before. Woo. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Yeah, I don't know. That was, uh, like I said, that was definitively in the last I, sh I streamed. I streamed yesterday for ten hours, and I streamed today for... 10 hours and in 20 hours of runs that was definitely definitively the longest one I had but still just barely over that's not too bad I guess oh look hey look w would you look at that another voodoo demon <laughs> guys want to run it back just kidding can't really right now because there's no voodoo there's no guide unfortunately how lucky anywho yeah just want to say thank you guys, everybody that came over to support and watch. Appreciate you guys. If you guys want to catch more of me, you can find me on twitch.tv slash rockzoom over there. It's right there below on the stream if you wanted the spelling. Beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for having me for the run. I appreciate it. Um, bless RNG. And that's it. <laughs>